Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I know the timing is super bad because we just got Donald Trump elected as president and that is a totally another video to get into. Sorry if you guys support him, but I don't. I think he's like sexist and rude and honestly racist and I'm Latina and black so I have a lot to say, but that's not what my video is about. I'm going to be doing seven things you need to know as a cashier because I am a cashier. Okay, let's get into it. And I just wrote some down on my phone in my notes, so I'm just going to answer them. Number one, you do not need to be a mathematician. I always thought that you had to be, like, great at math to be a cashier because I, like, I failed math, like, twice in high school, okay? I hate math. I passed it, of course. But I always thought, like, you had to know, like, everything. Oh, I need some chaps. I'm not to chat. You don't need to be a mathematician, you don't need to like, you need to, it, basic math, because when you rank someone up and their total comes, the machine tells you, like, and if they need change back, the machine's going to tell you what change you need. And that's pretty much it. Like, you know, quarter is 25, dimes are 10, so you do not need to be, like, Einstein. Number two. The customer is not always right, and I hate when they're like, oh, I'm the customer, I'm always right, like no you're not like I know what I'm doing and I know that that's not that or that's not that like I had two examples I had a customer who wanted to buy baby formula and it was $25.98 no $27.98 and she said that it was $25.98 and I was like okay now what you can tell like this lotion has a code on the back and that's called a UPC now you can go which you get a price check so you gotta go all the way back to the aisle and see if that's the price you match this up you don't match up by, oh, this is here and that's what it is. No, you have to match it up. And I found the UPC and I'm thinking, I was telling this woman that it's not $27. It's not $25. She's like, yes, it is. I checked. And then, like, she didn't even buy it. I'm like, okay, well, your baby's going to starve because you don't want to buy it. Spend two extra dollars on baby formula. And then I had another woman um, fight and said, oh, the customer's always right. And I'm like, you would have thought you were right. Like, it's annoying. So, no, the customer is not always right all the time, and it's so annoying when they use that stupid excuse because, like, you're not right. At the same time, I'm still a customer just because I'm a cashier. Like, I'm when I go to the store, I'm still a customer to other people. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she really didn't make any sense. So, don't think that the customer's always right and you have to, like, kiss their ass because you don't ever have to. I mean, at least I don't. Number three, the customer, they will act up. They will act like they have no home training and like like flip out on you like crazy i had an old man at nine o'clock this morning um yell at me because i couldn't find like his cigarettes i'm sorry sir i don't smoke so like i don't know what i'm looking for and he like ignored me and was so rude and then this other guy was like do you know what you're doing and i'm like how about you leave i know what i'm doing like get out and they like get angry like and it's not your fault they'll get mad at you because they don't get what they want and it's just like, you know how ridiculous sound, like ridiculous you sound? You sound like an idiot. Like, so they act up crazy, especially during the holidays. And whenever they just like don't get what they want, they think like it's automatically our fault because we're the cashier, we're the last person they see before they leave the store, that we know what to do and that it's our fault. But it's really not. They just like don't have any like home training. Number four. If you feel threatened at your register, well, this is my job's policy. I don't know if it's every job's policy, but if you feel threatened, you can walk away from your register. And I think every place should have that because I'm not going to want to ring someone up that I feel like they're being disrespectful or I feel threatened for my life. I'm going to walk away. So I'm so happy that my job has that rule. Like, if you feel threatened by a customer, you can leave. Like, you can get, you can physically stop what you're doing and turn around and walk away. And I don't even have to talk to them. I'll leave. I don't care. I really don't like you're not gonna be rude to me and just be disrespectful because you're upset or mad about something like I didn't do anything to you all I do is I sit in this little corner all day and I bring you up and that's what I do like of every other problem that you have is that's on you that's your own fault like don't come being rude to me because what I gotta do with that nothing so you can like leave and walk away um number five holidays are hectic I have not worked a Black Friday at my job this year, but I have worked the 4th of July, Labor Day, all that stuff, and it is crazy. Like, packed, like, you can't even breathe, it's so packed. And then people get upset with you and angry with you, and there's lines and lines, and, like, full of people, and 
it's just when the holidays come around, they don't know how to act. They don't, they don't, they've never been shopping for a day in their life before the holidays. That's how they act. Like, I'm just like, and I mean, I still have the same composure when they're like, when they have like, are giving me an attitude or something. I'm just like, I mean, I don't know what you want me to do. Like, I can get my manager, but you know, you're gonna hold the line when she comes and it'll take her forever to get there. You know, we're a corporation. This is a, a lot of people to deal with and for only like what, three managers running the front end for the day when it's super packed. No, it gets really crazy. So the holidays, I'm working, but I'm not working Black Friday. So this year, thank God, but like, but it's still gonna be crazy during the Christmas time because Christmas time really like starts like now. So holidays are crazy. So if you ever are gonna become a cashier, just like expect, expect like crazy, crazy, crazy holidays. Unless you're like a small store and you don't really get that much like, you know, people coming in. But if you're like a big store like mine, then like definitely like be cautious. Um, number six, um, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna, you know, you have to fail to, you know, to come back up, you know, and it's not gonna be easy at first. You know, granted, being a cashier isn't the hardest job in the world, but there are some tricks that you have to get to you. You have to get used to. You have to get to know. Like um, when my first week started, I had to manually punch in um, amount of money that they had because it wasn't an option, and it was like twenty dollars or whatever. And I put in like two hundred. And now I know, like, I you you take your phone out, you do the math, there's a calculator on it, you subtract it, then find out what you give them. But when I first did that, I was like freaking out. I was like so nervous. I had to wait for my manager to come. Like I had no idea what I was doing. But it's like the mistake that they, they'll help you get to where you are and stuff like that. So you know you're gonna make mistakes. You're not gonna be perfect. I've trained a few people. Like like you know it's look at me. I'm training people now. So it's like it's not like crazy. You're not gonna get fired. You're not gonna you're gonna make mistakes. And how it is when it's new. Um, I still make mistakes now and like. I get over it it's not that bad it's not that crazy so you know you're gonna make mistakes it's fine you'll be fine okay oh number seven i tried to have more questions more like things to know but i couldn't figure any of out any of them out actually anyway whatever um number seven customers swear that you know everything and that bothers me like we're in like granted okay you're put at different registers during the day, but still you're behind like a, like a tiny space ringing people up. You don't know what's going on in the food section of the store or the home section or arts and crafts section. Like you don't know all that. You know what you know, but you've been trained. And they think like, they think we know everything. They come to a register, well, how much is this? I don't know what this is. Why don't you guys have any more milk? Like I'm not in the food department. I don't know why we don't have any more milk. I don't work over there, so I don't know why you're asking me. I try to give them the best of my knowledge that what I do know because I do know some things, but I don't know everything. So they're gonna swear to you, like they're gonna swear that you know everything in the store. But really, you gotta tell them like I don't know that. Like I'm not sure. That's not my department. And even when you're walking through the store and someone asks you, like, oh, can you help me? You know, don't walk away from them. Try to find someone in that department to help them, but also tell them like I don't work in this department, so I don't know what like how much I can help you. I can try. And even then they still get upset they're crazy whatever um another thing to have it well good with you is i usually get like we have these little cups in my house they're like little dipping cups and we put like dip in them like individual cups and i just take that to work with me and you just get a wet paper towel because opening bags is ridiculous and especially when it's busy i don't have the time to be trying to fiddle with the bags and i'm not gonna lick my hands like you know how much dirty stuff i touch all day and people actually do it it's disgusting and i hate when like a customer like like licks their hands and hands me their money and i just uh, disgusting so that's a good thing to have on you is at least a wet paper towel hand sanitizer is a must hand sanitizer and i keep a little bottle of lotion with me because the hand sanitizer and touching all the money and everything makes my hands really like the tips of my hands like really dry so i always have hand sanitizer on me and lotion because those two are they're a must that you need to have it's, like forget the lotion like you can deal with dry hands all day but like hand sanitizer is a crazy must um what else do you need water always have a drink with you because when it's crazy you cannot just leave your register and go get something to drink like it doesn't work like that you have to either wait for someone to let you go even if you even if you have to use the bathroom like if it's slow i'll walk away from my register and use the bathroom but if it's busy like i'll have to hold it until like a manager says like okay you can go to the bathroom you can't just get up you can't just leave make sure you eat before you work because you get a break every two hours um and if you get hungry really fast then 
um, it's really good to make sure you eat something. Like if I were to come in at work at 7, I would get my break at 9 and then get my lunch at 11 and then get my last break two hours after that, which would be 2. Because I'd come back at 12. Yeah, it would be 2. So I'll have a drink with you. Gum, mints, you know, little pieces of candy. Not like big candy. You can't really eat like that when you're at the register. But like, you know, something that'll like hold you over. Uh, what else? It's always good to kind of, you know, not be friends with your associates like that, but to like be acquainted and get to know them and have a relationship with your coworkers because it is super helpful, you know, in case you got to exchange shifts and you know, all that stuff and switch up. It's good to, you know, be acquaintances with your coworkers. Um, this is just a really short video because I just had to post something. I didn't really know what to talk about because I did make a vlog the other day. Um, maybe I'll do them more, but I don't really go out that much. Um, my boyfriend was in town, so. But, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll try to put up more videos. I say, I, I always say that I do when I never do, and I know I'm so sorry I suck at that. But I will try to put up more videos. I'll try to post more. Um, give me some ideas, because I don't really know. But, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope that I gave you some helpful tips in case you do have a job being cashier. If you're getting hired to be a cashier, just some tips to help you guys know what to do. Until next time, guys, see you later.